Welcome back to Portable Entrepreneur. Let's talk about some free SEO tools. I mean, who doesn't love free anything that will help us bring in more traffic that can result in more leads and more revenue for the website that we're working on? I'm all for it. Fortunately for us, there are a lot of excellent SEO tools, but at the same time, there's a lot of not so good SEO tools out there. So today I want to share with you seven free SEO tools that you can use in your SEO process to help you get better results. Now, I'm going to venture to guess that you are already familiar with some of the popular ones out there, the Google search consoles and the Yoast SEOs, the big ones that are out there. So today I want to hopefully introduce you to at least a few brand new SEO tools that you have not heard of before. So let's get started with the first one. Kicking us off today we're going to start with Checkbot. Now, Checkbot is a really neat tool that essentially audits your website and they're doing 50 plus checks on over 100 pages on your site simultaneously and they are looking for SEO, speed and security type of issues. So that way it's going to give you what is going on with your website so you are able to make the fixes so that it can help improve your SEO. Now, the second free SEO tool is actually one that I've mentioned here on the channel because it is that great. I've actually created a full tutorial on exactly how to use this to see improvements when it comes to SEO. And this is called Rank Math. Rank Math is a free SEO WordPress plugin that goes right into your WordPress dashboard so that as you work, you create content, you're able to optimize that content and use the specific recommendations that they give you for your unique site. And you're also able to change a lot of SEO settings within the plugin as well. The third free SEO tool that we're talking about today is Barracuda's penguin tool. And this tool is really neat because if you believe that your rankings have dropped and they've been impacted because of one of Google's algorithm updates, this is a tool that you want to have handy because this allows you to put in your website and see if your website in fact has been impacted by a recent algorithm update. But on top of that, it's going to let you know why, what the issues were so that you're able to fix them so you can regain your rankings and your traffic. Now coming in at at number four is a tool that I first mentioned here years ago, but I really haven't talked about for quite a long time here on the channel. And that is a free Chrome extension called Mozbar. Now this is simply a small icon that gets placed up in the toolbar of your browser and you're able to click on it when you are on a website whether it's yours or anyone else's, and you're able to get a lot of really valuable SEO data about that site specifically. So this is one that I like to keep handy because that way, if I just need some general SEO information about a site, or I'm just curious, I'm trying to compare it to my own, or I just want to see what they're doing, I can simply pop this up without having to dive into my full SEO software. Now, the fifth option is really helpful for keyword research. And this is so incredibly important because well, without good keyword research, how do we know our SEO campaigns are going to be successful? And so this is actually a tool I not only like to use for SEO, but I really think it benefits our content creation process as well, which really goes hand in hand. And this tool is called Answer the Public. Now, as with many free tools, it does limit your daily searches. So as long as you're aware of the limitation, then you're able to maximize your use of those limitations. But every day you're able to go in and you can put in a few keyword searches here. And what this is going to do, it's going to go out and use Google Suggest to pull in recommendations for you. It'll help you find questions, content ideas, and searches that people are turning to Google for. So this is a really great place to expand your keyword list, brainstorm, storm some content ideas that you probably haven't thought about. And another way that I really like to use this tool is if I'm creating content or even if I'm creating a content outline to hand over to a writer, I have my main title with my main keyword and I'm able to turn to answer the public to pop in that keyword or that keyword phrase. And it's going to help me generate some additional questions or ideas. So that way I can help create some subheadings and some different topic ideas to go into the post to answer some frequently asked questions. And that way this page can start to rank for additional keywords over time. Now the sixth tool is called Can I Rank? And this answers the very important question we all have is, 
can I rank for this keyword? So what this is going to do is actually gonna go in and look and give you the answer, yes or no, that you can rank for this particular keyword. And if it believes you can rank, it's actually going to give you some specific suggestions for how to rank so that you know specifically what you can do to better target that particular keyword. And just to make sure that you know what you get with the free version here for one website, you are going to get 40 top ROI opportunities, 200 keyword recommendations, 20 link opportunities, five competitive analysis reports, and five on-page optimization analyses. And this brings us into our seventh and final tool, which is called Serperator. Now, as you may know, the SERPs actually change a lot based on your location as well as the device that you're using. So especially if you are working hard to rank a website and you don't wanna necessarily have to keep switching your devices or traveling to different locations just to see how your website ranks, this is a really neat tool that allows you to put in different devices and different locations to see how the SERPs differ. And What's really nice as well is that you can do a side-by-side -side comparison. So now, no matter where someone is located in the world and what device they're using, you're gonna know exactly what they see. So there you have it. Those are the seven free SEO tools that I wanted to share with you today. Let me know, are there any other SEO tools that you use that I didn't mention? I would love to hear about them so we can all check them out. Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll catch you next time.